All right, so uh, let's test this stuff out. See if it's playable. Yep, yep, it's definitely playable. What's the deal guys? It's Mr. Legit. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a special video. If you guys haven't seen the Flex Seal Clear today, we're gonna show you guys how to put it on this vent right here. So I'm at my buddy Mike's house. We're here in beautiful Vancouver, Washington. And uh, my buddy was like, hey man, we got a leak in the bathroom. You know, so uh, uh, so we came out here and I, and I saw what he has. I said, let me go grab some Flex Seal. Uh, this stuff is absolutely amazing. Psych. Did you guys really think I was gonna put this on? Come on, get get out of here. This stuff, trash. Don't be using this stuff. I'm gonna show you guys the legit way to do it. So uh, what you do is you shake it up and throw it off the roof. So what we have here is a bathroom fan, and what we're gonna do is be taking off around the fan and uh, finding this leak. So right now there's a little bit of charm, but the tools that you're gonna need is a pry bar, hook blade knife by Boss Stitch. It's like, I think this is a Stanley. And we got the ETS 2000. And then we got a little Husky hammer. So that's how cheap you guys can fix your own repair. So you want to stop, start at the top of it and kind of, kind of get this. You kind of want to break up the seal real quick. So you're going to break the seal on this shingle. And you're going to come across and just kind of slide it through. Slide it on in. You're gonna break up this seal, see how it's kind of breaking? Be careful not to rip the shingle. It is a pretty warm day, it's probably 87 degrees up here. Um, so see how that is? All right, now what we're gonna do is keep on keep on breaking the seal. Break the seal all the way across, like a Pabco shingle. I'm not sure, but we're gonna come up here and the way that they do it up here is they put three nails and there's no nails up here. So it should be pretty easy to take off. But there's three nails right here on the bottom of it. And, and if you see tar right here, what you want to do is you kind of want to break it to see, you know, you kind of want to check it out. Oh, there's a nail right there. So we're going to take up this nail. And looks like they did put it on with a... So really, the tar really probably didn't need to be in there too much because if you look at this nail, it has a little rubber grommet on it. Oh, see, that's gone though. But we're going to take that and we're going to take off this one right here. Take off this one, and we're gonna slide this out. It should slide right out, and it's not because there's a little bit of tar. So go ahead and break your seal up a little bit. Kind of look at these ants coming in here. So this is a tall tail that you have a leak going on. These moisture ants are here. Look at that one taking something. But let's go see see if we can. Uh, might have to take your hammer out and kind of chip. Break it up a little bit. Not even need the, tr the trusty knife. What we're trying to do is kind of, kind of free this stuff up a little bit. See, now we can see what's in there. So, kind of break this up a little bit. Clear this up. See all that in there? So we're gonna take this stuff out of there, and we're gonna slide this out. All right. So. Now that this is out, you can see all the ants that are living in there. We're gonna kind of clear it out. I might need to come back for a vent, but I think we could salvage this. Clear it up a little bit. Get those ants off. And now we have to, we're gonna take off a couple shingles around here just to see exactly where, uh, to see where it was leaking. So when, again, when you guys wanna take this stuff off, you gotta take, you gotta take the nails off of these. So let's go ahead and break the seal again. Don't worry about the seal because we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and uh, put that uh, that clear flex back on it. Psych! Come on, man, that stuff's so whack. We don't do that stuff. You guys really didn't think I was gonna put that stuff on, did you? Come on. So this stuff's super easy to do. So if you come over here and look at these staples, wow! Look at the way they did these staples. So if you look at these staples. If you ever do staple it, which is never recommended, you wanna lay them flat this way. See, there's another one right here. So what happened was this installer had a rainbow effect. So he started here with his gun nice and straight. And as he turns, 
he gets crooked like that and then he really starts and then he starts his next one so but if you want to take these out real simple take your hook plate in there and pull them up see that see how easy that is good that's, that's it boom now that shingle's pretty loose now we just got to do it to these ones all right and take this one out too now this shingle theoretically should come out and we have one more staple in there take the staple out take the shingle out one more in there somewhere get in here a little bit closer oh there's one way up there i don't know why you put that one in there but i don't know why people do what they do really well. so take this out take this out this one out, this one out, and, and this staple right here, and one more right there, oh, little ants on me, all right, I'm going to pull that right there, Off this staple. Pull the staples with the hood of pages work so nice. See, we're not breaking the shingles, we're not ripping them apart. And that's really what you want to do. Alright, so now that we kind of see what's going on, we haven't found any leaks yet. Not that I can see, but. Go ahead. Take these off. Take these off. Break the seal. Now, when I do these, I try to work as clean as I can. So, kind of clean it up a little bit. Break that stuff off. I say we go ahead and take this shit off. So far. And keep on taking off these staples. All right, we have another one in here. Oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Do we have any moisture in there? And we do have a little bit of moisture, it looks like. I don't know what is that? It looks pretty wet. It looks dry though. It's been it rained here yesterday pretty good, so uh I don't really see too much moisture here. Which is kind of crazy. Um now is this stuff is this Mike is this stuff leaking inside of the right around the vent? Water drains down the vent and it leaks on this side of the sheetrock underneath. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're going to keep on in here. Some more. So, let's come back and see. And take off a couple more shingles. What you don't want to do is just start ripping into it. So, we're going to take off a couple more shingles, open it up, and really see what we got. So, let's keep on going. Break the seal. Whatever shingle you want to take off is this one, so that means I need to take off the staples up here. Go, go ahead. Take that staple out. Look how easy that is. My wife could do this stuff. All right, so that's come off, and you can see the rainbow effect on this guy's staples. So that what happened is after a few years. This rainbow effect, see how it's nice and straight over there? This rainbow effect will come off and it'll pull up. The strength lies when it's straight. If you do your staples, which I don't even think it's cut here. So, go ahead and keep on going. Take 
seal. Pull that shingle out. Take these tape up. And pop the seal again. Make sure it's not sticking out of the pipe. like a puzzle. You gotta take the puzzle apart. And then you should be able to get us a nice picture on really what's going on over here. Alright, so that one wasn't even cut that right. So really when you're doing this, this should have been cut straight with the pipe. So this one should have came way over here. It might be leaking right there, but let's keep on going. Take off some more shingles. We're gonna keep on, what you do is you keep on going until you find water, until you know there's water. And then uh, just put it back together. All right, take this one off too. Sometimes when you get up, you can just start ever so lightly, just kind of pull them back. But what you don't want to do is rip the shingles. So, so far so good, no ripping shingles. All right, now what we see is um, we don't know. So good thing I do have a little bit of paper. So if we need to, we can put some more. So let's cut into this bad boy. And let's see. Okay. So the thing about these is they run. This water will come on this and run. And it looks to me like something is leaking right in here somewhere. Looks like there's moisture right here though. See this guy? So if you get here real close, there's the camera over here. Mike, see that right there, that little shiny? Watch this, see, watch. If I, see that right there? I mean, it doesn't look like much, but it's changing color, see that? So the water's leaking off one of these nails, probably. So what we're gonna do is pretty, pretty much just uh, put these shingles back together, put some new underlayment on. We're gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fan on. Make sure to blow all that stuff out that way. We don't put it back together. He calls you and says, hey, my fan, clank, 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 clank. You know, there's debris in there. So I'm gonna uh, have him go do that real quick and uh, we'll get you guys back there for, for reassembly. All right, let's wait for her to turn the fan on. We, he had a, he called his wife. Say, hey, let's see if she's got it. So these ants though, man. Do you guys have ants like this in your part of the country? Look at all these things, they're everywhere. But at any rate though, should be pretty simple just to put these back together. We only have, how many shingles did we take off? One, we took off one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We took off nine shingles. So it's that easy. But well, let's see here. Fan on? Wyatt, turn on the fan. Look, he's going down the vent pipe. That's what you do sometimes, man, when there are people in there. Oh, oh there it goes. Let's turn this camera. But see, it's not opening. See, ooh, look at that. See, his fan's not even opening. So what could be going on is some of the moisture. Right. Woo -hoo! Give it just kind of clean it up a little bit. I had some stuff in there from, from the bathroom. You clean it on up a little bit. You take your hand in there ever so lightly. What you don't want to do is you don't want to break the screen off the bugs. Coming in your wife's bathroom, you don't want that to happen. All right. Now, now what we're going to do is I'm going to clean the area up. Again, what I don't want to do is step on something. So I'm going to clean the area up a little bit more and then we're going to reassemble. So uh, 
So here we go. Probably take these nails and this aside. Worst thing you want to do is not clear this out before you start tromping on it, walking all over. I've done repairs. I've worked. I worked at a company that did repairs like this all the time. And I've done it at my company, but like this, put it right to the gutter. Just don't forget to clean it out, right? And all these, all these staples, all this stuff. Take it right off. Squeeze it right to the gutter. Make sure they land in the gutter. All this stuff, okay? And uh, I'm probably not even gonna clean up and make it clean it up, but. <laughs> All right, now, grab the, my dog's down there with his dog. Try to beat him up. Can you grab some paper real quick? All right, boys, what we're gonna do now is put, um, put a couple of eights back into this wood. And, cause you can see that there's a truss right here and look, see that? So maybe we could put this down a little bit and, and, and kind of minimize this bump a little bit. Put another one in there. But it looks pretty solid. So let's go ahead and start reassembling. Now I don't have a gun and I don't have hand bangs. I just have some of these. So what you do, just take these out and just start cutting some off the coil. If you don't have any, but you could go down to your local hardware store, pick up a couple hand bangs. But in this case, we're just gonna, matter of fact, matter of fact, you know what? If you haven't hit subscribe, hit that button right now. It's a good time to do that. All right, so this paper is pretty important stuff. Is what we want to do is make a little slit, right? So there's already a slit here. So I want to tuck it up behind this and make a slit right here. Make a slit here. And then you just do the old tuck roof. So when the, if anything ever leaks up there, it's gonna hit this and run off the roof. Okay. All right. Now that we have that, I just want to see what that uh, tar paper says. Oh yeah, legit, baby. You know what the damn deal is? Come on, man. Shit. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this around the hole. And I would rather have it outside of the hole a little bit, but you don't gotta go too crazy with it. See that? Now it'll breathe a little bit. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this. I'm gonna cut this along the shingle. Okay, so this, this we could tuck. Here, let me do this. Take this thing, let's take this out. Take this one out. We're gonna go ahead and tuck it. Oh, make sure you tuck it up here. Tuck that. Look at that. Make it nice and flat. And cut this. Cut this up. Shave off just a, 
All right, so I'm cutting it with these tin snips. You guys can use your choice. A sharp knife would probably be pretty good, but this knife is the sharpest right now. Get this up, get it in there, tuck it in there. Make sure that there's nothing over there. Bada bam, bada boom. So let's start putting this back together. All right, now what we're doing is we're gonna go ahead and clean this vent up. Sure, we should put a new one, but I mean, I only asked for, I only asked for, you know, a couple beers and that's that's about what I, that's all I'm getting paid over here, so. But if it happens again, we'll come over here and uh, put ice and water shield, you know, and do it, and do it the way. But I'm just trying to make a video because I'm bored. Hopefully you guys like it. But real, but theoretically this will work. It'll, he'll stop leaking. I'll let you guys know if it doesn't. So yeah, just keep on peeling this stuff off because you guys, we should never, you should never have to put this tar. If you, when you put the tar or the caulk in, you put it down this edge right here. Cause once water finds its way in, it doesn't find its way out. And the only way out, it'll go outside. I mean, this vent's fine. It would just, it would just save time if you had a new vent, you know? So if you're a contractor, you, you just want to bring a new vent with you, save you a little bit of time. Be a little bit more professional, but. All right, guys, so the battery died. Um, I went down to go grab it just to kind of see uh, what the flex seal clear is. Again, it says uh, roof leaks, gutters, skylights, window seals. Please don't use it on any of that stuff. Duct work, foundations, foundation. What are you gonna do, put your foundations, really? Awnings, chimneys, downspouts, vent pipes, AC, RVs, come on, man, so. Uh, I think it's good for starting fires. That's about it. But I kind of want to squirt it. It says it's clear. I've never even seen this stuff as seen on TV, as seen on TV, but let's just kind of see what it does do. I'm kind of curious on like this little hole right here. Let's just kind of squirt it. I mean, it's not going over the hole. I don't know what you're supposed to do. So it's a seal up over that. Like, what are you really supposed to do on this? I mean, come on, man. But so uh, just call a professional. This is what we got to do now. So we're going to put this thing back together. I don't rem remember exactly how one of these shingles. I think it was this one right here. So this one right here, what we're going to do, we're going to just put these back together like so. Okay. Put that back together like that. Grab your nails. put these in now the problem with these the foil nails you got to watch out for your hands wear some gloves or something because if you look at it they don't they do have that little piece of uh that little piece of metal that that hold them all together so we're gonna go ahead and put these in i'm hand nailing these in so i'm gonna put four nails in it typically you put five don't put your nail in your keyway make sure to put your nails Shingle looks good here. Actually, this shingle that we did. This shingle's gonna gonna touch it. That one's definitely right. Which one was it? It might have been this one right here. Or this one here. Look. Yeah, this. Yeah, this one. So Mike, you should have been a roofer, man. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together like that. Put your nail in one inch from the side. Put a couple nails in this bad boy.
cow. I'm gonna go and put her down there. We'll caulk this one later. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of caulking underneath it right now because there's a hole. So, we'll put a little caulking underneath that hole right now. Fill that hole up. Fill that void. Then, I'm gonna go ahead and actually put a new hole. I don't want this to lay flat. Put a new hole. And try not to use too much caulk until the job's done, otherwise it gets everywhere. So, I think that we're on to the next shingle. Looks like this one, looks like this one, there we go, right here. All right, I think this one goes right here. And I can tell it does go here because actually, This one goes right here. Right? What's that? And the beauty in this, what we did, is we didn't, we didn't even have to, we didn't even have to uh, do any new, so it looks, we didn't have to use any new shingles, it just looks all authentic. So there was a little spot right here, I remember. So let's go ahead and get this, let's go ahead and get this piece of metal down. All right, get this bad boy in there like so. And that's the nail. couple nails right on the line. I'm not going to put a couple any nails right here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go in and caulk this right here. Because this keyway right here shouldn't even be here. So really you you want to have your nails expand over your your shingle expand over here. You shouldn't have a really a, a joint right there, right? So what we'll do we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a little bit of Peter caulking right down this line right here. Good. Call that good. Actually, this one beneath it goes in there first. Okay, now you can see it right there. Good, that looks good. Now, we're not gonna nail anything right here. We don't want that to you, but what we can do is glue it together. I put a little bit of glue right there. Not glue, but you know, caulking. All right, now we gotta find our next one. Which one was it? I don't know if this one will fit, guys. Might have been this one. There it is. See, that looks about right. So, we're going to nail this together. Now these holes, we're gonna go ahead and caulk that because I think that's where they were leaking from. We're gonna go ahead and caulk it. And if you look at this vent, so this vent, obviously, so really you, what you need is a flapper fan. So before I came over here, I grabbed the four inch flapper fan that came down with the stem. But this thing, I mean, it's outdated. He doesn't wanna, he doesn't wanna put, you wanna put a new one in here, Mike? No, right? So he's shaking his head no. I don't blame him. But what we are gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and cut this out a little bit. Because it should be cut out that way it can breathe. Alright? We want it to breathe, man. We don't we won't be calling this. No, we want it to breathe over here. So again, look, we're gonna go ahead and tuck it underneath this. And then tuck it underneath there. And that looks about where it was. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and nail that back into place before we put some caulk in these holes right here. So we're gonna go ahead and put the whole caulk in right there. Caulk in this hole. 
fault in it at all, popping it all into the hole. And we're actually gonna go ahead and go ahead and put a nail right there. Make sure it lays down nice and flat. Yeah, then we're gonna go like this. Put some caulking right here. Put some caulking right here. Okay, we're gonna put this bad boy in there. We're actually gonna come down a little bit so we can create a new hole. Then we're gonna go ahead and put the caulk this in. Slide that caulk in. And by the way, guys, this vent, we sculpted it out those vents. No, there's no cracks, and it's definitely not leaking from the from the uh from that, it was, I think it was one of these nails running down, but so the next shingle is this one right here. Okay, now before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and add more caulking right here. Down the slide, if you can look at this, see this little, see the way they made this little line? This water, there should be no caulking on this. So the water's supposed to hit this and keep it on this side, but if it ever gets on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of caulking on just this side. Okay, that way if it ever does come down, it ain't going nowhere. We're gonna go ahead and put caulking above this too, above this line. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and continue it. We're gonna go ahead and continue it all the way down this right here and you don't want to make sure you go past it otherwise you'll see it right so put a little bit of more caulking that should do her now we're going to put this on and when you put this on you want to put it in there and kind of give it the old tuck of root there look at that now it's nice and it's just sitting in there nice and tight line up the corners all good. Now I'm going to actually come over to this one. Make sure this one's in there. Nice. And then right. See, they actually cut this one a little bit short. That could have been the cause of it too. But now that we have the caulking in there, we're good. We're going to go ahead and actually cut off this little bit of excess that we don't need. We don't need this excess in there. Right, okay, cool. Now, we're gonna go ahead and nail these off. Okay, now make sure your nails are outside of this keyway right here, okay? So there's a keyway, you don't wanna put a nail right here, even if it's underneath the shingle, because water will hit there. You can see where the water's traveling. So really, you wanna keep your nail about, you know, they, they say five and five and five eighths. That's just what we're gonna do. Go on, put your nails in here. Tuck this one. Tuck that last nail in there. Now when you nail, you don't ever want to nail onto this. I don't like putting my nails up here. A lot of guys, they'll put their nails up here. But we don't, in here, we don't have that much wind. We don't have storms. We have storms, but not really much in the Portland area, eh? All right. Well, we're just gonna continue. These nails in here. Again, we didn't use any nail, we didn't use any shingles. We didn't have to use any shingles on this. Should we have? Yeah, sure, but this way it'll look clean. Nobody will notice the difference. Take this one in here. Kind of clean this up a little bit. See that? Looks like someone put the flex seal on here or something. See that cleaned off a little bit. Off. All right. Now give the old tuck roof. This one could be a little bit tricky, but you want to go up, tuck it in nice, ever so lightly. Line up the corners. 
And actually this one I'm gonna line up that one too. That way it looks nice and straight going down. Yup, now that one good. There. There you go, see that's nice and straight. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and pretend to nail this. When you lift this up, don't bend it too far. Barely bend it up. Otherwise, I can guarantee you guys will break your shingles. That's the last thing you want to do. But if you do break your shingle, just put a piece of tin shingle on there or some caulking. Finish this up. You don't want to break the shingle on the home stretch. Yeah, we don't want to. We definitely don't. I've done it before. And again, I put it as close to say like 80, like 86 degrees. If you guys are doing this in the 30s, these shingles, they, they break. It's tough. So if, you're, if it's a little bit colder, you're going to have to buy these shingles. Again, so. Again, we don't want to nail. Again, we don't want to nail really close. We don't want to put any nails right here. So come check this out. Even though there's a nail line, we do not. I, I, I repeat, repeat over. We do not want to put a nail right here because the water will back up. Okay, so go ahead and finish this bad boy off right here. Now we've got to continue to put these nails in here. So, see right here how the see how, see how this is broken. If you guys do not do this part right here, you're burnt. So tuck it up underneath there to where it barely got burned, and just ever so slightly. There. Just go ahead and put that new line of tar right there. You don't have to go too crazy with it, but you definitely because this stuff will weld even better than than the actual. Manufacturer one. See how far this is going over? You've got to chase it all the way over there. Okay. Put this down here. And then, final, come over here, put them on these nails. See that? You don't need to go too crazy with it. Those right there. And guess what, guys? That's how you do a repair without flex seal. If you guys liked what you saw, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Peace.